I just gotta run. First and foremost, I wanna give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushah, Bahashem, Bahashem, Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone as well. Peace and salutations to the hope of elect, which is the true doctor. Across the four winds, earth, and all true land and sincerity. I'm Lamar Ariyah from the Mississippi County. Lord willing to be able to find lessons. And this is just the uh, intransitive spirit. Just gonna uh, speak on um, how today, hours from now, we're gonna be, uh, brothers gonna be gathering for the Passover. And um, it's gonna be, you know, it's always a, a exciting moment a scary moment you know a, a time of trembling because you know the Lord be bringing death separations exposure and uh, when you, when you in this truth in this faith man you, you want to you know find yourself in the in the good graces and mercies of your how I send me out shot because uh, in my short walk in this faith, I've seen the things the Lord have done when, you know, there's the approaching of the Passover and after the Passover, you know, within the faith, within the truth, and just people within the world, how he, the Lord be bringing judgment. And um, it's not a time to be taken lightly, okay? It's not a time of partying. It's not a time of, you know, having just fun. You know, it's, it's, it's a time of reflecting on the deliverance of the nation of Israel out of Egypt. It's a, it's a time to remember the judgments that the Lord brought upon Egypt. Okay, it's a solemn assembly. Okay, it, it, it's it's a time to give reverence to your how about me outside. And again, it's a fearful time because we know this judgment will follow. And um. It's, it's crazy how men in this truth have such a prideful spirit, a prideful mindset, as if they are something when they are nothing. Okay? A scripture the scripture says, when a man think himself to be something, we he is, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. And, and a lot of men have deceived themselves, one, because of lack of fear. They don't fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, men seek their own vain glory. They want to uh, uh, be that guy. They want to be, you know, recognized as the man or something to that effect. And because they're losing focus, man. They're, they're, they're losing focus of the true mission. And the true mission is to do the will of Yahweh Bashemi Shah. Uplift the name and magnify the name of Yahweh Bashemi Shah, right? Okay. Uh um reach and teach to the people. Deliver deliver the words and the message of prophecy through the spirit of Yahweh Bashemi Shah. Prophesy the downfall of America, the downfall of the rulers of this wicked kingdom, Esau, Edom, okay? The so-called white race. Okay, um, these are the things we're supposed to be doing, making our bodies a living sacrifice. All in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. But, you know, because men have lack of fear, that lack of fear turns into 
disrespect, no honor, no integrity, and, and ultimately being proven to not to be a man of the Lord. Because there are certain things that a man of the Lord is going to do. It's, certain, it's a certain way a man of the Lord is going to conduct himself. And it's all, you know, striving to walk in the ways of righteousness according to the scriptures in a way that's pleasing to you. How about Shimei was shot? And by doing that, you know, it, we're, we're, we're hopeful because we are of the hopeful elect. We're, we're hopeful and hoping that the Lord may find mercy upon us, man. That we won't, you know, ultimately have to uh, take part in the second death. That the Lord won't uh, cast us away. That the Lord would pass over us in the uh, time that we're in now, approaching the Passover. This, this is the time to, uh, you know, be on your best behavior, if you will. This is a time to reflect again on the judgments that the Lord brought upon Egypt. Okay? The Lord sent forth plagues, pestilence. Okay, the angel of death, which was Yahweh Shab, you can receive it. The firstborns of Egypt, man. Firstborn children, firstborn cattle, sons, rather, the firstborn sons. Okay, the cattle. The Lord brought a lot of death, man. Okay, he plagued the water. That's not to be taken lightly. And what? Nothing is new under the sun. And not me personally. I believe that hey, the Lord is going to bring a, a whole lot of death after this Passover, man. If not before. And I pray that he do. Because, you know, our people are really beside themselves, man. Our people have really gotten beside themselves, being becoming lovers of themselves, you know, becoming more wicked. They have just completely forgotten or never known Yahweh Bashimi was shot. You know, they worship everything. Like I said, they sell Buddha, uh, Instagram, TikTok, their hair, their nails, their vehicles. They shoes. So I get anything and everything but the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. But see, the Lord is getting ready. Hey, the Lord is getting ready to drop some things on you people, man. The Lord is about to let it be known that there is a God, okay? His name is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is. And that there's a, a, a savior, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which means he is or he is our deliverer. And, and, and Yahweh Shai is sitting on the right hand of the heavenly father, you know, waiting on the green light and it's coming the most high is going to give you have a shot of green light soon enough man we only have what a couple of major prophecies to come to pass the uh what one is the the uh the, uh, the MOTB and the other is what WW3 and of course we're 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 in the midst of the brewing of Jacob's trouble 
and, and Jacob's trouble is going to be hell on earth for you Israelites and, and all the people that dwell therein on the Lord's earth. But this, this Passover, I truly believe that the Lord is really finna make an example out of a lot of people so that it would be known that there's a higher power at work. You know, people had already got the, uh, the, the jump shot when the Lord sent his prophets out as he always have this, uh, teach and preach, uh, at the Bible and warning the people, yo, don't take that jump shot. But as the scriptures say, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know, they, 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 uh, they refuse to listen because they got it all figured out and what? And they trust in Egypt. But the scriptures say, woe to those that trust in Egypt. You know, they put their faith in their enemy. They put their faith and trust in their enemy. Esau, Edom, the rulers of this world, the, 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 the wicked. But someone has to be allotted that role to play in the Lord's movement. To trust in Pharaoh. Okay? Lord said two thirds shall be cut off and die. That's of the nation of Israel. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? But, uh, this Passover, you can feel it, man. It's, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be things that are gonna be magnified, okay? The Lord is finna do. The Lord is finna do some things, man. He already's been doing things. He put the spirit on Elder Prophet Tahar to deem this year what? According this year, the year uh, that all the prophecy hopefully come to pass, or or all the uh, roughly paraphrase Slocky, but uh, the year that all the uh, prophecies come to pass. Okay, hopefully. But we've been seeing it. We've seen all these different earthquakes in diverse places, all the storms, all the derailments of these trains. You know, you got Russia uh, 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 gearing up, pulling out of treaties. Okay, you got uh, uh, North Korea practicing or, or, or doing a different uh, test ready. Okay. There's going to be or a prophecy is going to really start standing out, man. It's really going to be undeniable that the Lord's words are faithful and true. Okay. And, and we're, we're, we're praying to you, how about me outside that this be the year that all these prophecies come to pass? That uh, that the Lord really start you know judging people on a on a higher scale than He already is. You know, we 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 we're, we're looking forward and praying to see massive numbers of people dropping. And we know it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen, man. Especially those who lined up to take that, that jumper. Okay? And then went back for the pick. Okay? Some went three times. So we're looking forward to those bodies to start hitting the floor, man. And we're going to give all praise to how about me outside. But this is not the time to be in a in a party mood, party uh mindset, getting ready for a a, a, a great and, and and luxurious Passover with bells and whistles and DJs and dancers and a bunch of women. That that's not the time we're in, man. Okay. We're in a time where we're supposed to be humbled. Humbled. Very humble. And praying to you, how about you, me outside? 
you know, for whatever we, anything we may have done, you know, that wasn't pleasing him to forgive us and to pass over us, okay? You know, to keep the brothers and brothers' families, you know what I'm saying, his mercy and his grace, okay? Not to cast us away. Because, hey, a lot of you you guys calling yourself uh, uh, servants, you how about shimmy out shot, calling yourself uh, men of the Lord, hey, we finna see. We're gonna see, man. You know, thinking that you're already a part of the Lord's elect, we're gonna see, man. Because the great millstone start from my apostles and elders on down. Hey, we pray that we are a part of hopeful elect. That the Lord not only have called us, but have chosen us, man. We're praying and hoping for this. So those who are uh, all prideful and feel they are or just know they are, hey, we're going to see. The Lord said uh, pride go before destruction. You know? The scripture goes into how the, um, the elect shall scarcely be saved, man. We're not going to know, you know, until we're beamed up in those chariots, man. Or granted, you know, those spiritual powers, okay? Because it's, it's, the Lord is going to do something where, as the scriptures say, then they shall know who are my chosen. So the Lord are going to give brothers spiritual powers, man. Okay? Some brothers are going to have those spiritual powers, and it's going to be known that they are the chosen. Okay? But again, this is not the time to be in that party mood, ready to, you know, just eat lamb and drink yon yon and and, and 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 have an Israelite party. No, man. As the apostles always go into, the elder bishops always go into and brothers on down. In in the time of the Passover, man, there wasn't no partying going on. Okay? There wasn't a, a, a party sense of mind, man. It was a serious time, a serious moment. And that's the mindset we should be in now. But the Lord is going to sift out those who are not truly his servants, those who do not uh, uh, have the best interests of Yahweh Shimei Shah at heart. So, this just was a quick uh, uh, in transit. Don't have my sword on me, so just kind of quoting uh, scriptures through the Spirit. Hey, but Lord willing, it was edified. I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakashadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and we will. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.